the Town of Wakefield is excited to share the conceptual streetscape and roadway vision for the heart of our downtown. Working closely with stakeholders, businesses, and residents at a series of community forums, conceptual plans have been created for South Main, Middle Main, North Main, Albion, and Water Streets. These designs are a framework, the bones of the project. As the design process continues, elements like sidewalk and roadway materials, types and styles of lighting, placement of bus stops, and other details will be determined. You are currently looking at Middle Main Street. Just to orient you, on the right side of your screen is the intersection of Main and Water. This is the Smith Street, Water Street parking lot. Continuing northbound, you'll see the hiker statue and rockery across from Crescent Street, and further north beyond this graphic, you'll be at the lake. Part of the design process is planning for the future of our downtown and conceptualizing how it could be used. As you may know, the wakefield linfield Rail Trail, which is a separate project, will begin just south of here across from the Galvin School. It will cross Water Street at its intersection with Vernon. This will bring many modes of transportation to the area, and this project looks to accommodate all of them safely. On this concept for Middle Main, the lime green strips indicate where separated bike lanes could be located. They'd be at the level of the sidewalk, away from the roadway and parking stall, and also adequately separated from the sidewalk itself. Here are examples of how other communities incorporated this type of lane. As the road tightens here, the current angled parking would need to be replaced with parallel spaces. Understanding the importance of parking on Main Street, we could make up for lost spaces on Center Street and Princess Street. By widening each road slightly and making them one way from Main to Union, it would create a loop. This would allow parking spaces to be created on each side of both roads. This adjustment would not only make up for spaces on Main Street, but may result in a net gain of 2 to 11 spaces over what is present today, just in this specific area. The directions shown here are just concepts. Again, these are fluid, and the design is a dynamic process. The exact parking count would be determined when the plans are further along in design development. You'll notice that angled parking is maintained elsewhere on Main Street, and keep in mind that angled parking could be added where it does not exist today further north. You'll hear more about that in the North Main video. This project also envisions a better experience for our pedestrians and ensuring accessibility for all. You'll notice red dotted lines throughout the design. These show where today's curb lines are. Many residents shared their opinions that crossing Main Street was very difficult and not all crosswalks were accessible to individuals with disabilities. From 2014 to 2016, 62 crashes occurred along Main Street between Crescent and Water. Ten of those crashes involved vehicles backing out of angled parking spots, and seven were pedestrian-related crashes. A component of this project is safety for all modes of traffic, including pedestrian, and bringing the area up to standards set forth by the Americans with Disabilities Act. This plan shows added bump-outs at each end of the crossing. This would reduce the crossing distance, making it shorter and safer. The bump-outs would also place pedestrians in front of the parking stalls, making people more visible to drivers. You'll also notice that added medians are suggested to bring the beauty of North Main down to the center. Reconfigured sidewalks not only bring a greater pedestrian experience, they could also be spaces for outdoor dining, shopping, or events as we look to the future. Those details and material selections would be looked at closer in the next phase of design. Trees are shown as a placeholder here. This is an example of a before and after showing how one town opted to utilize a similarly gained space Engineers would work to retain as many mature trees as possible, and new trees and plantings could be introduced. There would also be the opportunity to install pedestrian scale lighting and wayfinding signs. Again, while the framework is outlined in these plans, the detail would be determined later. Let's look at a cross-section view of the area highlighted in red. You'll see the sidewalks and sidewalk level bike lanes, the bump outs, the angled parking featured in this area, travel lanes, and the Titan sidewalk. We'll discuss the Water Street parking lot in our South Main segment and changes to Common Street in the North Main segment. 